Hey everybody, my name is Carly Dixon and uh, my husband Hamilton and I own the downtown Dayton music and event venue called The Bright Side. Um, I am filming this video today because I tried to do a live feed and it was just sort of an internet catastrophe because everybody's working from home. So I thought I'd try to film one and see if I could get it uploaded just so that people can keep seeing our space um, while we're all in limbo. Uh, so behind me is our beautiful mural uh, done by Tiffany Clark uh, last year. This is a mural that may or may not be here. It's something that we usually try to change each year, but it's a beautiful way um, to have an interesting outdoor backdrop for photographs during your event. So this gives you a sense of one of our three parking lots. We actually have access to our neighbor's lots next door and also one around the corner so we do have plenty of parking for around up, up to about 300 cars. Uh, right here you'll see this is the old Attaboy gas station building. It has this cool retro vibe and it is a great space to take photographs uh, before, during, or after your event. You'll also see our linking marquee sign over there at the front and that's a fun place to add your hashtag or special notes for your guests before they arrive. This is our beautiful new entrance that we fixed up. This is one of the first things that we did when we renovated these buildings about a decade ago. Your guests will then arrive, come into our foyer, and this is our cool logo mural uh, and you've got some space here for a guest book. This is examples. We also host music events and this is some of the really cool concert posters that we've had signed by musicians that have performed in our space. Now we're coming into what is called the Bright Side Bar. This is our bar room. It has amazing acoustics and a really just warm and cozy vibe. Uh, the vaudeville sign behind the bar is actually a sign. We found two of them in the rafters during our renovation process. So that's just kind of a cool uh, reclaimed kind of industrial element that does helps decorate this space. We also have a full stage with a, a just a wonderful PA system that is a house system available for your use. So if you want to have a performer during your event, it is a great way to um, add some additional element to your event, uh, but do it in a way that sound has really good sound quality. Uh, we have a catering kitchen. You can't cook in the kitchen, but you can prep food. Typically we use this area right here to set up tables for the catered food. And then you've got access to the countertop and the refrigerator and freezer, etc. One interesting thing too about our bar, uh, unlike most venues that bring the alcohol in specifically for the event, we are a stocked bar. Uh, so what's cool about that is that oftentimes our guests will do more of a host bar where they set a certain dollar amount of what they'd like to spend and then they open up the whole bar to their guests. And what can be fun about that is that then if only a few of your guests drink a certain kind of alcohol, they still have the opportunity to order it. Um, but you're able to do that in a way that doesn't blow your budget. All right, so now we are going to head into the ballroom. This ballroom is 120 feet long by 40 feet wide. It does hold about 250 seated and about uh, 400 plus standing. We have had more than 250 seated. It depends entirely on what you end up doing with the stage and the dance floor area. Um, we can, if your, if your event wouldn't be able to make use of the stage area. We have partnered with groups like Unlimited Events, uh, sometimes Cousins Event Rental. We'll do some really cool uh, curtain installations uh, using pipe and drape so that we can actually cover the entire stage. Or you can utilize the stage and have your DJ set up. We've also had weddings where people have had seating on the stage. So all of those things are a possibility. We do have some neat sort of industrial elements in the space that are great for getting pictures in front of. And the lighting in the space is, this is all the lighting that's included. So even without doing any sort of other decorating, uh, the room does have a nice warm glow. We've also got industrial uh, roll-up doors. These are great to open during your event if the weather is suited for that. And one thing people really love about this room is the chalk wall. So what's fun about this wall is that you start with your 
you know, the art that you've created officially so that you have beautiful pictures from the day, but then as the evening goes along, you can invite your guests to contribute and add to it and it becomes something that's just totally unique to your event. Um, I also want to show you all of our rentals come with tables and chairs included for up to 2.30. Uh, this is our chair. It is kind of a dark wood, uh, but then it also has this great black pad. So it is a really, we tested it out with multiple different folks and it's a really comfortable chair. So uh, this is the ballroom. And I'll show you real quick. The ballroom does come with a expansive catering room so this is the catering space uh, we have had people cater up to 400 in this space successfully one other thing worth mentioning about this space is the acoustics of the room uh, the entire ceiling is covered with foam uh, which does provide a good uh, it just absorbs the sounds in the space and then the room is equipped with a truly world-class sound system uh, so it provides amazing acoustics and sound quality for any performance that you have happening in the space even just for announcements and things like that it's really nice to be able to clearly hear what people are saying uh, even while music is being played okay so now we will head upstairs to check out our second floor loft suite I think it's important to see the stairs because if you have accessibility issues, we'll want to leave this room out of the equation for the time being. Um, so we're at a point where we're able to install some kind of elevator system. This hallway will get activated with some murals and some interesting lighting at some point in the future. So we have arrived. This is our loft suite. It is all white, but still has the exposed brick and beams. And then it's accented with some really cool features. This is a portable bar. These barn doors can be moved throughout the room if you want to use them as a backdrop for pictures. We've got some nice white walls as backdrops for photographs and a lounge space. And then there's room up here. We actually have 100 seats like this. They're all mismatched seats. Uh, if you recognize them, they were at Lore. And they have a new home here at the bright side. So this gives you an example of seating for about 40. But obviously we have room for way more than 40 up here, um, as long as all of your guests are able to access it via the stairwell. If you decide that you also want to use this space as your bridal uh, salon area. This area has not been completed yet, but it, it will be soon. Uh, we're going to break off this area right where the black table starts with the reclaimed doors that are leaning against the wall over there. Those are going to be attached to one another and become a room divider for right this area right here. And then we'll have uh, some full-length mirrors and some director's chairs and some lounge chairs and a refrigerator all in this space so that you can utilize this for getting hair and makeup done in advance of the event. Um, and then if you have guests that are also going to be using this space for the ceremony, you're, you, you're separated and no one can see behind that area. This is another chalk wall. So you can use that to decorate. And then there's more space up here to be used as part of that bridal suite area, even if you're using this as a ceremony space. You've got outdoor area. This is just a little deck, which again is gonna have some improvements done. We're gonna get new furniture and things once we've all gotten through our quarantines. This is a lounge space. And you can leave the lights on and bright, or you can make it a little moody in here. Uh, there is a TV. It's just comfortable space for hanging out uh, before the event. Then you have access to this whole entire hallway. We do have a washer dryer. bathroom 
It's a really cute shower, just right on the other side of that, right behind the toilet. You have a whole kitchenette and you're welcome to use this, including it's got a refrigerator and water and coffee maker. An additional bathroom. And then an additional access uh, down to street level. Uh, this takes you back down to Third Street. So even if you're a musician and you're using the second floor as your green room, this whole area, including the big space, is all available for your use during the time that you're here for your event. And lastly, I'll just show you a few pictures of what the space looked like when we bought it. So this is the entrance that you saw me walk through. This is the bar. This is the bar and the bar. And this is the room that we're in right now. So this gives you a kind of a fun little before and after. Uh, this is also the room we're in right now. So that shows you what the ceiling looked like before. These are pictures of the ballroom. And it just kind of goes on and on. This is all the ballroom. Yeah, so it gives you a sense of what you can do with time and determination. Well, that is basically the space in a nutshell. Thank you so much for walking around and checking it out with me today. If you're interested in booking the space for a future event, you can check us out at thebrightsidedayton.com. We cannot wait to welcome you back to The Bright Side.